your PC is hacked by VYIA ransomware. Although it is easy to remove ransomware, but decrypting the encrypted files is an extremely difficult or almost impossible task. But that doesn't mean you can't recover your encrypted file at all. There is still good hope left to recover your data with the following steps. Check your PC symptoms. When your PC gets infected with the ransomware, all your files like pictures, databases, document and other important ones are encrypted with the strongest encryption or unique key. So confirm if your PC is infected with the same ransomware. Identify the ransomware family. After the symptoms, identify the type of ransomware that you are infected with. Each ransomware has its own separate family group. That's why it is very important to know the family name of ransomware before doing anything. And it is very simple. Just download the ransomware recognition tool. This tool will let you know about the ransomware family name. Now double click and accept the agreement. Click on browse button and select the ransomware node. Click on scan. So you are infected with Stop Deja Vu ransomware group. Now close this tool and proceed to manual removal and recovery process. Delete ransomware schedule run. To delete the ransomware schedule run, go to start. Type task scheduler. Task scheduler will open. Go to task scheduler library and search for time trigger task. Double click on it and go to action tab. Select this entry. Double click on it. Select this path, copy and paste in notepad. Now you can see the ransomware application here. This application is the core of ransomware encryption method which is directly connected to the hacker. So this is very dangerous file. Now go to the task scheduler, cancel, close the task property, select time trigger task again, right click and this time delete this entry and done. Locate the ransomware folder and process. To locate the ransomware folder and process name, go to start, type local app data and press enter. Local folder will open. Now search for the random number folder name. Your folder name randomly could be anything. So open it. Check the similar or random file name in your folder and try to delete it. It is not easy to delete this file directly. Therefore, to remove this virus file, open the task manager and search for this or this type of process name there. Now you can see there is multi process of this ransomware file name. That means this ransomware file is also located on your PC at different location. So select this process, right click and click on open the file location to know the location of this process. This one is hiding in the temp folder. And this one is hiding in the local folder. Leave this folder open as it is. Now again go to task manager. Select ransomware process and end tasks for both of them. Now go to that startup tab. And disable this application to stop the process in the startup. Now go to the ransomware folder. Select the file and try to delete. You still cannot delete this file due to the access deny error. To get the access of this file, right click on file, properties, security tab, click on advance, select everyone, click on disable inheritance, click on convert inheritance permission, select everyone and remove it. Apply OK and OK. Now you can delete this ransomware file. Do same for the another one. Now we have successfully removed the ransomware files from the PC. Time to decrypt the encrypted files. To decrypt the encrypted files, download the Stop DJVU Decryptor tool. Please remember, this tool will take some time to decrypt your personal data. It completely depends on your folder size. Please also note that 
If this tool doesn't work, then you may receive online or offline ID related message. If your ID is online, then decryption is impossible without the private key. And if your ID is offline, decryption may be possible in the future. Now double click on this tool. Click on I agree. Click OK. Clear object list. Click on add folder and select your encrypted data folder. Click OK. Now click on decrypt button. So this tool was unable to decrypt the data. But the ID is offline and there is a chance to decrypt the data in the future. Get the data from window shadow tool. You can easily recover your backup data from window shadow copy. Factually, when windows create the restore point, windows automatically create the shadow copy of the volume as well. And with the help of shadow explorer, you can recover your personal data from shadow copy. But point to be noted, if your shadow copy is also affected by the ransomware, recovery from the shadow is worthless. So to get the shadow backup, download shadow explorer and install. Run shadow explorer and select the shadow date. Now select the folder where your encrypted data is located. Right click and export the folder where you want to keep your fresh data. If I am explaining well, then please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. In our testing folder, files were recovered without any problem. That means ransomware was unable to affect the shadow copy of data. But if your shadow data is also affected by the ransomware, then follow the next option. Recover your data from the black hole. This option is the last option. Although the chance is very less, still there is some hope. But before proceeding to recover your data, understand the logic behind this method. Whenever your PC gets infected by the ransomware, it makes a copy of your file and then encrypts that file instantly and also remove the original file instantly within a few seconds. That is the modus operandi of ransomware. So there is a good chance that you can retrieve your deleted data. So download the photo rack file recovery software. It is also free software. Go to the downloaded file. Right click and click on extract to. Open this folder and double click on qphotorack underscore win.exe. Software will open. Select the drive where your encrypted data is located. Click on file formats, click on reset, select your desired file such as jpg, doc etc. Now press J to select the jpg file, press P to select the pdf file or you can choose the file format at your need. Click ok. Now click on browse and select or make the folder destination where you want to recover your data. And select the folder. Click on search. Now the file recovery process will take a lot of time to recover your data. So keep patience and wait for finish. Please also note, this software will randomly recover the files without the folder where they were actually located. So you have to choose it wisely one by one. Hope your data have been recovered and will recover very soon. If you need any help then you can contact us through comment. Thanks for watching this video.